hello everybody. So apparently there's this uh, big party down in Brazil right now called Carnival. Uh, don't know much about it, wasn't invited. But uh, with this big party, Digital Legends has decided in their infinite wisdom to come out with a new bundle. They said, let's call it the Brazilian Warrior Bundle. And what can we do to get people to spend some more money on the game? I'll tell you what we can do. Let's make another overpowered bundle and piss everybody off in the game. So let's check this bundle out. So with the bundle, you get the dual rookies, which uh, I love. They're good. And they look pretty with this new green stuff on them. Yeah, with the head, body, and legs, all 7% agility. So combined, what is that, 21%? If my math is right. Head reduces the damage by dual revolver by 60%. Body. Yeah, you s yep, yep, you know what I'm talking about. 60% reduction from the damage for revolver. The most balanced weapon in the game. It's a weapon you could get for free by playing, saving your cash. Now it ain't gonna do jack squat. Pants, 60% reduction to the blunderbuss. So we already had some other pants do it. These ones do it as well. In fact, you know what? Uh, it's basically a dress-up party in this game. Everything has some special ability. And what is annoying about it is now when you go in and play, no matter what weapon you use, all of a sudden everybody changes to the gear that nerfs your weapon. So how many times can you change clothes in a game? Whoever's the fastest comes out victorious. Now, uh, I don't want this to be misinterpreted. I still love the game. I'm still going to play the game. But the game's gone in a direction that I completely disagree with personally. It's a, basically a money grab. Now, in interest of full and fair disclosure, Digital Legends, uh, we have a, I don't know what you'd call it, a working relationship. They've given me the bundle for free. So I didn't buy this bundle. And you guys, I, I've made probably over 100 videos on this game. And all the videos have been pretty positive. In fact, I'd say all of them have been really positive and have done nothing but generate business for Digital Legends. So... Uh, they, they're doing good, but they don't play the game, and they make the game, and their goal is to make money, like any company. That's how the world works. So I can understand why they've taken it to the, the direction they have is they want to make more money. From a player's perspective, I have to see things from the other side. And from a player's perspective, the game has gone a direction that is horrible. It's, it's, a, it's a huge pay-for-play game, glaringly so. You have to pay money to be able to compete. My worry is they've added so much additional stuff to the game that they're going to scare away the chance of any new player coming in. Can you imagine if you're a new player, you you go to the app store, you say, oh, oh wow, this third-person shooter looks pretty fun. You know, maybe they find my channel, whatever, how they find the game. And you go in, you'd be so confused on what works. You'd be getting owned so bad because everybody's won all these bundles and the events and it's just become a really confusing game, kind of a hodgepodge of, of a little bit of everything. Um, and then they're slowly nerfing every weapon, with the exception, of course, the ones that cost real money, like the cricket. Uh, stuff that you could not buy with gold or cash, but all the cash weapons that were good have all been nerfed. And why? Because why would you spend money on the game if you can get a free weapon? and just use that. Well, I've spent money on the game. I know a lot of people spend money on the game because they like to get, you know, other weapons that are gold or whatever the case may be. But this is truly a way for Digital Legends to make more money. That's why they've done it, plain and simple. So I understand why, but I still don't like it. And I really apologize. This has not been a review like you'd probably expect. A lot of you guys watch all my reviews. I've done tons and tons of reviews. It's more of a rant. So. Uh, real quick, the review is, it looks cool. You can tell from the clips here, it takes about six rounds to die from Revolver. The whole clip, you miss once, you're not going to die. So it really nerfs the Revolver like we already talked about. The extra agility is nice. Uh, I was able to compete well against other players using the bundle, and I really like the dual rookies as well. Um, what else for the review? Oh yeah, the map's cool. They've got confetti coming down for Carnival. Big party. 
They got some cool like Latin music going on in the background. The thing about it was you couldn't turn the music off, so you had to listen to it. If you wanted to hear the sounds of the guns, you had to listen to the music too, which I just ended up turning the volume all the way down. So that's my review. It is a good bundle, guys. It's a good bundle. You know, if you want to spend money on it, that's totally your decision. It's a good bundle. Uh, but real quick in closing, you probably saw some clips earlier of some guy who changed his name to hashtag noob life after my video I did a few weeks ago. Looks like he totally missed the point using cricket. So guess what's coming up next? Me owning this fool. So stay tuned for that because you guys will enjoy it and we'll see you in that video.